What's up guys? Welcome to part three of this ultimate showdown between the Nexus 10 and the Microsoft Surface tablet. Now in part three, we're going to be talking about performance and battery life. If you guys have not seen part one or two, I've left those links down below. I'm also paying attention to your guys' comments and I must say you guys need to settle down. You need to understand the purpose of this video. Part one was about user experience out of the box. I know a lot of, a lot of you guys are upset that I didn't use Dolphin or Firefox or an alternate browser for Android. Remember, out of the box experience. In other words, when I buy this device, when I jump right into it and play with it, what, what can I expect? In part three, we're going to sort of revisit some of these browser tests because remember, we're talking about performance and I want to show you guys where Android can really shine in that performance. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have both devices loaded and I don't like to do boot tests because I think they're very silly. I know a lot of people do that, but for what it's worth, the Nexus 10 loads about 10 seconds quicker than the Microsoft Surface. But that's just uh, one of those FYI in case you guys wanted to know that since we're talking about performance. I figure once your device is on, you leave it on. Anyhow guys, so in performance, we're gonna be talking about app loading. And I know that is also a silly test that I hate doing, or actually I never do, but I figure it does matter on both of, the, on both of these devices because it, the experience could be a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and load two applications. Now, just so you guys can see that there's nothing running, the surface is clean, otherwise it would show up a menu, and over here, nothing is running on Android. Now, let's go ahead and jump onto the Jetpack Joyride and see how quick both of these load. One, two, three, at the same time. And like I said, I think that in this case, I wanna do a comparison just because I've seen, there it is, it's loaded, that it does matter. In some cases, as you can see here with the surface, it takes quite a bit to load, and I think when there's a huge difference um, in time difference, um, it's good for you guys to know what to expect, especially when you have to wait to load. Now this could be an optimization issue, it doesn't matter, I don't really care what it is, software, because we're talking about experience. As you can see here, I have to load um, into Xbox Live. So that was a really big difference between, the bo between both of them. Let's go ahead and exit both of these and I'm gonna go ahead and push on the home screen. Now I'm not gonna clear anything because I want it to be fair. I'm not clearing anything over here so I'm not gonna clear anything over there. Uh, fair test. Let's go ahead and load Netflix. Now understand that these are, programs are completely different so that also could be a, a, an issue. Let's go ahead and uh, push on Netflix, one, two, three. They're not the same Netflix apps. So, again, I just wanted you guys to see the performance. Once again, the Nexus 10 loaded right away, ready for you to do what you have to do, because at the end of the day, this could matter to you. Um, every second spent here is time being wasted. So, once again, the Surface is taking time to load um, quite some bit. And remember, these are completely different. Let's go ahead and see if this will rotate over here. All right, there we go. So. We're not going to talk about the difference of apps. I just want to let you know that this is completely different. Obviously, you guys can see. Let's go ahead and load another app like Angry Birds Space. Star Wars. Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay. So, let's see which one is quicker. Right off the Rovio uh, app is loaded. So, you're going to start seeing that the Nexus 10 loads things almost instantaneously. Um, over here, took some time. I'm just gonna let it play and do its own thing with the animation, um, just to let it go. And this is where you could really see the difference in performance. Like I said, whether it's an optimization issue on the surface, whatever the case may be, the Nexus 10 is really, really uh, a lot faster than the Surface tablet. So let's go ahead and push uh, play on both here really quick. Okay, go ahead and uh, Tatooine, I think we did this before, seems familiar. Let's go ahead and push on one. Okay, let's see if any different. So this one loaded a little bit quicker on the scene, but not by much. So anyhow, that's just an app test. Let's move on to the next one. So I wanna test the Wi-Fi performance on both devices. As you can see, we're connected to the same server, internode and internode over here. Oops, I hit restart. We'll just let it run. <laughs> Let it do its thing, we'll wait for that one to finish and then we'll test this one again. But anyhow guys, this is not the official app version as it is on the Nexus 10. We are running the web version over here. So as soon as that one's done, let's go ahead and see what happens on the Surface tablet. 
And not to spoil it for you guys, I've done this test probably a hundred times repeatedly and I can tell you that the results are almost the same every single time. They're on par with each other. Uh, sometimes the Nexus 10 is slightly faster, sometimes the Surface is, but more or less you're gonna get about the same results. And that is true also when downloading applications. I try to pick and choose which applications are more or less the same amount of megabytes and not to waste too much time on video, even on web browsing, I would say that both devices are equal when it comes to speeds and also I've done tests where I've taken both devices to the furthest point and I must say they both have really great Wi-Fi speed so you won't be disappointed when it comes to uh, data speeds on both devices but I figured I'll just show you guys this anyway. So one thing I want to show you is after having a bunch of applications loaded how much lag you start to feel or start to get with the device and as you can see I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven applications loaded. Um, over here, I'll show you guys, I have one, oh, I should have not done that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so it's equal. And you can see that there's no lag at all. Um, it is very smooth. So one of the things I've noticed with the Surface tablet is as I start loading more applications, the system really starts to bog down and you could definitely feel it, especially when you have a couple of these like pinball effects and all these other games uh, kind of loaded. Um, the, the device starts to really slow down. As you can see, what a big difference. Like it just starts to bog down. Not over here with the Nexus. You can have, you, I can keep loading applications over here, widgets, and it's just not going to stop. It'll continue to perform and without any problems as you can see over here that's not the case it'll start you know as you can see it starts getting really jittery so when it comes to performance and multitasking this is really where the Nexus or Android device uh, has done such a phenomenal job with Android 4.2 or just Jelly Bean in general with Project Butter how doesn't matter how many apps I can keep going and this will not slow down including widgets and just to show you guys I'll even throw in a live wallpaper and uh, let me go over this one. I don't like that one. I like phase beam and show you guys that uh, no hiccups at all. Even with all of these applications loaded in the background, like I said, I can just keep going. I can keep just keep on adding earth. I don't know if I loaded that one and it's still, you know, no problem at all. Smooth as butter. Now let's go ahead and look at gaming performance. Now it's very difficult to compare both devices because there's not very many apps that are on both devices. So I'm going to be using Cut the Rope, which is a pretty fun game. Let's go ahead and push on both of them and see um, how both devices uh, seem. I don't know if you guys paid attention to that when it loaded. If not, you might have to rewind it. You will notice that when it comes to gaming, and I've noticed this on several games on the Surface tablet, there's quite a bit of lag. And pay attention when the rope comes down. I don't know if you guys could see that. Um, there is quite a bit of lag compared to the Nexus 10, which is very, very smooth. I'll try and do this at the same time so you guys kind of could see the rope swinging over here. How do you, it seems like it's dropping frame rates. And that seems to be the case whenever I play just about almost any game. Um, it's not as smooth as the Surface tablet. And like I said, whether it's an optimization issue, oh wow, you could really see the lag there, or, or uh, whatever, doesn't matter, it's about the experience. Remember, out of the box, if I were to buy this tablet and it's having these type of issues, I'm not gonna have a bit, I'm not gonna have a really good experience compared to the Nexus 10. So, anyhow guys, I just kinda wanted to show you guys the amount of lag, and I wanted to do it on a similar game so that you guys can see. I don't want you guys to say, well, you're comparing a different, a completely different game, so. So now in this part, we're going to be doing a performance test on the browser. Now remember, don't get it confused because it's going to seem similar to part one. Part one was about user experience. So I am using Dolphin Browser and it is on user or desktop agent, excuse me. I'll show you guys right now so you guys can see under settings, desktop. So this is of course Internet Explorer. So let's go ahead and try both system. You could see that it is a huge night and day difference compared to um, Internet, or excuse me, Chrome. However, it's still not as smooth as over here with the um, Internet Explorer browser. Let's go ahead and try and find the same image down here. Uh, try and pinch to zoom so you guys can see the difference. 
again, really, really good over here on the uh, Android device compared to Chrome. But I still, if I had to do performance, I would say that uh, I would give it hands down still to the Surface. I believe that Internet Explorer is probably the best browser, mobile browser, um, when it comes to mobile devices. It's really, really good. And, you know, once to kind of put that whole thing to rest that why I didn't use Dolphin, once again, it's still, it's a great experience, but over here is just night and day. It's super buttery smooth and you really can't compete with that. However, it's not a dog and this is a great alternative browser if you want to get that more performance out of your Android device. But on this particular part, I still believe the Internet Explorer browser is much better. Now we're going to be doing a YouTube performance test just because some of you guys were saying that it was unfair that I'm not using 1080p. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys 1080p, right? Of course, this is running HD. Go ahead and do that full screen. No lag at all. Same thing with over here. A lot of you guys were saying, well, you know, YouTube does not really work great on the Surface tablet in 1080p, as you guys can see. Oh, I actually paused it right there. It is in 1080p. Let me unpause that. So it does. Uh, work in 1080p without dropping any frame rates. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys a performance on both of these or on YouTube at least since I know a lot of you probably will watch YouTube videos the uh, experience is going to be pretty much uh, equal. So now that round three is coming to an end we can see who the clear winner is of this round and that would go to the Nexus 10. The Nexus 10's performance is awesome and let me tell you the browser test even though the Microsoft Surface won, and I'm not trying to apologize for Android, you have to understand 2560 by 1600 resolution. It still works good, not as good as the Surface, but overall general performance, you cannot beat the Nexus 10. When it comes to app loading, when it comes to app playing games, even just overall in general use, the performance is there and the Nexus has the punch to back it up. So in this round, boom, Nexus 10 takes it and we are tied. So what about battery life? I know this, I said that we will be touching about battery life. And the reason I didn't go too much into detail is because both devices are pretty much equal. They both last just about the same. It's very hard because you can't really mimic the same thing, but you have to take my word for it. Using both devices, moderately, heavy, lightly, they more or less give you about the same battery life. The only difference I saw, and this is just FYI out there, is that on the Surface tablet, I can charge this bad boy probably in two hours, two and a half hours um, when it's running low, compared to the Nexus 10, does take several hours to download. That could be because of the micro USB. So just FYI, but in this performance round, once again, congratulations to Nexus 10. We are tied and things are just getting heated up. Next round, we're gonna be talking about operating systems. You don't wanna miss this. It's going to get good. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next round. Adiós.